What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel Aqua Eden. My name is Mikey. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are back at BB's Aquatics for something really, really special for you guys. So stick around, we're gonna do that. Um, thank you so much again for those that have subscribed and liked our videos. Really appreciate your support, thank you so much. Uh, once again, um, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do click that subscribe button and do like this video. So today we've got something really special that's going to be happening here at BB's Aquatics, okay? We are upstairs on the first floor in the hardscape gallery, right? So I'm surrounded by so many things to use. Great. Um, so what we're actually doing today is that there is an old tank um, downstairs. It's going to be one of our first projects. Uh, we're calling it New Life. So downstairs there was a tank, you can see it right here. Right, so this old tank, it was um, pretty much abandoned. It is still a usable tank. It's just that the hardscape and uh, the soil was kind of old and there was no plants in there. So naturally the soil would then become obsolete. Uh, so what we're going to do today is that we're actually going to scape this tank. We're going to rescape it. We're going to overhaul this tank and we're going to see what we can come up with. All right, so um, I've got the tank right here. So this is the tank. It is actually a 1.5 feet by length, so it's really nice. It's a good sized tank. So we do have a couple of concepts. We've got a lot to play around with, but we're not gonna um, do something too extravagant, all right? Uh, it's gonna be very nice and it's very, gonna be a very classic kind of aquascape. So do stick around for that. So um, thank you so much for tuning in and I do hope you enjoy the video. Also want to say a huge thank you to BB's Aquatics for sponsoring this video and this build, our very first build. So thank you so much uh, to Peggy and Jason from BB's Aquatics. Really appreciate the support for our channel, Aqua Eden. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yes, let's get right to it. So guys, as you can see, this is the tank. Uh, and of course, we've cleaned the tank. Right, there's still a bit of stuff that needs to be cleaned up on the outside, but we will be recycling the light as well as the hang on back filter. So, naturally, the tank would be cycled. We're not going to wash that filter, it's going to be a completely cycled tank the moment we switch on the filter. And the good thing is that today we are actually going to be doing some planting in here as well. So, we've got lots to, lots to work with, and uh, let's go look for some hardscape. So guys, this is AJ, he's from Sarawak. Yes, I will highlight that in the map here, Sarawak. <laughs> okay, thank you AJ. So we're going to do some shopping guys. Um, so I've already got some root tabs because we are doing some planting. That goes in there. So guys, we're outside because they have a lot more options for rocks here. Now I've got a concept that actually looks something like this. So it's trying to be sort of like a 3D kind of effect from the front to the, from the foreground all the way up to the background, where the mid ground has this gravel of sand or this river of sand that flows from the stones. So we're gonna try and replicate this. Uh, I've already got my soil and we've got our root tabs. So we are just gonna pick out some stones. Okay, so we have gotten our substrate and I believe we have our rocks. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna fill in as usual a mesh bag with some lava rock that is very important for some beneficial bacteria at the bottom since we're planting today so that is what we're gonna do first so we have gotten some of the lava rock in right now it's time to place the stones but before we place the stones we definitely want to give it a good wash so let's go do that Okay guys, so for this build, since we're planting today, we are going to be using some root tabs. So we have some root tabs from ADA, the Amazonia one. So we're just going to put some of this, break it up and put it all over the um, sides of the, from the background all the way to the foreground. So that's what we're going to do now. So guys, for the uh, substrate, we are going to be using some fluval biostratum. So this is some really good stuff. It really promotes plant growth. 
uh, it does have uh, a lot of um, acidity in it but it, it does also neutralize the pH level but we're gonna try this out today and this is the substrate we're gonna use So the rocks are in place and we're just going to tidy up the base a bit and because uh, we just jet washed this. So we will cap everything up with aqua soil, making sure that the gaps have been filled up with aqua soil. Like such. So at the back, we're definitely going to have some space to plant some stems. Now it's time to basically glue them in place and that is pretty much going to have a good effect from the front. Perfect. So for the gluing, I am still going to be using tissue paper balls and cyanoacrylic glue which is perfect for these stones and they are going to lock them in place. So guys, we have done the hardscape, substrate is good, there's a river of sand flowing, the stones have been glued in perfectly. Right now, what we're going to do is that we are going to show you what plants we got from downstairs. So at BB's Aquatics, they home grow their own plants, which is an amazing initiative to keep a sustainable business and really just environmental friendly. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what we have from downstairs and I've got a couple of options. Because we're going for a 3D look, for the uh, foreground and the carpeting, we're going to use some Liliopolis. And this is the Brazilians one. So this is the slightly bigger one compared to the micro or the mini. So Liliopolis, definitely, that's going to be our carpet. So we got a couple of those over here. And uh, one more here. Right. There we go. Perfect. Now, I do have a very nice Rotala red for the stems, so that's going to go from the, from the left-hand side. So any large stems, we're going to go from the left down. And we've also got a couple of Ludwiga dark oranges, so this is going to be really nice addition to the background, right? Leading on the stem plants to the back from the back, and it's going to be really nice. Uh, I've got some Crips or Echindorus. Echinodorus, uh, this is the golden mini ones. These are some really nice ones to go in the front of the uh, stones. So that's going to have a very nice transition from carpet to plant, including the side as well. Um, I've got a couple of those. I've got uh, also an area colon. So this is actually a very nice pink one. It's already pink, so we can definitely plant that. And we've also got some bacopa. So that's what's going to be our plant for today. Oh, <laughs> 
so guys we are finally done with uh the new life build uh it was tedious work because uh, there was an event downstairs uh there was a hermit crab workshop so we had to go to the hardscape room to actually do the whole scape um which was quite hot but it's not an issue at all nothing like a good sweat um but yeah so pretty much what we're gonna do right now um so we had to use lilianopolis for the carpet grass and um it's gonna be a while till that grows out so it's not like monte carlo where once you flood the, the, the tank it's gonna grow up pretty well with co2 and stuff lilianopolis is actually quite sensitive um so what we're gonna do is uh, we actually are gonna switch things up and we're gonna do the dry start method okay so the dry start method is where you basically plant everything into the substrate and you are going to keep it moist. You're going to cover it up with some cling film and that cling film has got holes in it which is going to emulate a greenhouse. So it's going to keep the humidity high because the light is on. There's going to be a lot of photosynthesis for the plants and that's what's going to make the roots actually really strong. So as you saw earlier in the video, we actually put some root tabs um, below the substrate. So that's actually going to help the roots as well. Uh, along with that, I actually planted some crips. Uh, I've also planted some uh, bacopas up here in the front. I've also planted some uh, rotala reds right there at the entrance. I've also planted uh, more bacopas at the back and some uh, rotala green coins at the back as well. On top of that, uh, we've got some uh, cryptoclines, the green minis that are on the left and the right. So we've got two there, two there, and the rest of it's just pretty much Lilianopolis. So what we're going to do is that we're going to do the dry start method. We're going to come back in a week and hopefully by then with all the nutrients from the fluval aqua soil that we used, as well as the root tabs, the roots are going to be really strong. Um, and that's when we can actually start flooding the tank. Now, bearing in mind when you do the dry start method, it is quite important to note that the leaves on the plants are going to be used to air, which means that once we submerge it, uh, they're not going to be used to water. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about melting in a very early stage uh, in the next video. But yes, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I will leave you with some close up shots. And seriously, this has been such a pleasure to be here. Uh, our first ever project with uh, BB's Aquatics. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank all you guys for uh, your support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. Um, really appreciate your support. And um, what's gonna be awesome is that we have so many more projects to work on. As you can see, there's actually a tank on my left. I won't show you much of it, but we're actually going to revamp and overhaul this one as well. Slightly bigger than this tank, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And um, I really just want to say a huge thank you on behalf of Aqua Eden um, to BB's Aquatics. Thank you so much for um, sponsoring us, uh, becoming a collaboration um with you is it means a lot to us and uh we really want to thank you because of this. if you guys do want to check out uh, there was a video previously i'll leave the link in the description we did a store visit uh and awesome this place is just really awesome guys you got to come here thank you so much bb's aquatics for sponsoring this uh video and as, as well as the channel and all the equipment thank you so much to peggy and jason um for all this i really like how this new life build has turned out from what it looked like previously and uh, honestly, it's got all the dimensions that I can think of, starting from the diagonal side, heading up to the left. It's just, it's, I, I can't wait to see the end product. So fingers crossed and let's see how this goes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week ahead. I really hope all of you stay safe uh, throughout the season. If you're driving on the road, please do be safe. And I do hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. See you guys then.